What's going on guys? It's Foxy for real and today we are gonna go on a toy hunt to Johnson City, Tennessee. Now we haven't been here in quite some time so I think instead of just retail stores what we're gonna do is hit up maybe a few comic book shops. There's a place called Nerd HQ that used to be comics and swords and it looks a lot better than what it used to be and then there is a place called Dwayne's World. I messaged him last night to see if they had Hot Toys Mezco and stuff like that and he said he thinks he has a few Hot Toys. Now don't know if I'll buy one today but we're gonna go see what they have because but I'm getting that six scale bug so guys without further ado we're gonna go ahead and go and I'll see you guys at the first store Alright guys, so what you have not saw, I uh, forgot my camera in the car, we actually picked up a Lasher and a Kira, which they're in the back seat, I don't know if you can see them, um, but we're going to go into a Target right now and, and a Books Million, there's a Books Million right over there behind Brooklyn, so let's see what we can find, I think we're going to hit Target first because <laughs> we need coffee, so let's go. Alright guys, so we're looking right here, we have a Forlom right off the bat, uh, DJ, on Solo, Range Trooper, and a Captain Poe. And over here for the Legends of X-23, Deadpool Back in Black, Iron Man, which is really good because last time we went to the Target there was nothing here. So, I got the Foes, a low key. Wow, that's an old wave. Can't believe that's still out there. And then that looks about it. We do have some vintage card waves. Black Widow, Black Widow and Iron Man Punisher. Anything down here? Don't look to be, um, but there is some clearance stuff around here, so we're going to keep an eye out for that. Some sale on basics today for $7.99. And I think there's some legends around the corner. We'll go check those out real quick. So if anybody needs this for long, this is in Johnson City, Tennessee, and it's the Target. All right, guys, so we are here at the Funko Pops. It does look like we have some on clearance. They actually have Jacoby from Bright for 6 bucks, and Will Smith's character, Daryl Ward, as well for 6 bucks. Uh, but we do have the brand new Dryden Gangster from Han Solo. Um, oh, this is an ugly pop. Dude, he's just ugly. In the movie, he was even ugly. So, don't know about this one. And we also have the usual Stranger Things. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. What's this right here? There's a Dryden there. And... Sailor Moon, and over here we have a ton of Stranger Things. So, nothing here today. All right, guys, we are inside of Books a Million now, and we have a quite a few Punko Punko Funko Pops. Um, Punko Pops. Looks like some Hank Pym's here. I'm really looking for the Wasp Chase for my man Big Dub. Really, I'm gonna get that for him. I swear I am. Um, but over here we do have some more. Don't know how likely we are gonna find a Chase today, considering it is Sunday. But it's possible. I'm not gonna count that out. You never know. That's kind of cool, actually. Let's scoot through these and see what else we can find. There's another Ocelot skeleton. These cat noirs and ladybugs look cool. <laughs> There's Mr. Rogers right there. Let's see what else we got. Here we got a, got a porg facing the wrong way. Can we get lucky today? No. Alright guys, as much as I really want to go through all of this, it's a little bit too stack deep for me. Uh, we're going to turn off the camera, maybe set it up somewhere, go through it, see what we can find. Nothing in this uh, as for Chase is some really nice looking pops, but we're looking for Chase today. Uh, we'll see what we can find somewhere else.
here we have Doctor Strange. I really want, just like everybody else, the uh, actual number five Doctor Strange right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see what else I got. All right, so Brooklyn just looked through some pops, but there's nothing in there apparently. Uh, let's see what else we can find. We did get some uh, delicious coffee show at the Starbucks. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the Walgreens I forgot that actually has their pops in cases, but we are not here for pops. We're here for legends, but uh, wishing we were here for pops because it don't look like there's too many legends here. This is a little weird. They still have the Sandman wave and stuff like that, and that's about it guys. That's all they got. This is insane. There has to be some more somewhere. I'm gonna look around real quick and see if I can find them. All right, guys, so we just walked out of Walgreens. You saw there was nothing in there, so we're gonna head to a comic slash toy shop called Nerd HQ uh, and see what they have. So I will see you guys there if they allow us to go. All right, guys, so we went inside of the comic shop called Nerd HQ. Here is their card if you wanna check them out online or uh, Facebook or if you're in the area. They had some really good deals on there. Um, I actually got three figures, that I, two of which I wanted when I was a kid so freaking bad, and one I actually had when I was a kid, and it's complete. I got all three of these for 30 bucks, which is actually pretty much a steal if you really think about it. First off, we got Vulcan Raven. Shout out to my Metal Gear Solid fans. This is awesome. The cheapest I've ever saw this figure is like 50 bucks, and uh, like I said, I bundled all three of these for 30 so $10 a piece. Or if you think about it, I got one of them for free. So, yeah, this is one awesome figure. It's a really old figure. Articulation is almost non-existent, but it's still really, really cool, and it's part of my childhood, to be honest with you. So I cannot wait to get these home and set these up, because these are going to have a spot on my collection for sure. The next figure I got was a character from Metal Gear Solid that is my favorite character in Metal Gear Solid, and that is Gray Fox. And he even has his cannon uh, right before he gets it cut off on the Metal Gear Solid games. Or his arm cut off. He doesn't get it cut off. He gets his other arm cut off right there at the joint. And I think you can actually pull these off to make it look like it. Uh, the only thing he's missing is his katana. But I'm going to use one from Deadpool to, to give to him. So make it pretty much complete. So there is Gray Fox right there. Alright and now I got Solid Snake as well. This figure looks so freaking good for being such an old figure. Um, the only thing is, is he's missing his gun and his vomits, but I'm pretty sure I have one from the uh, previous Solid Snake that broke on me um, before Ricky Dones hooked it up with another one. So I'm going to use those pieces from that, and that looks so freaking good for such an old figure. Look at that. So there's Solid Snake. So all three of these guys for the price of one pretty much uh, not even for the price of Vulcan Raven this just looks so dang good all right guys we are coming up on the Star Wars section we have a DJ a Lando Lando Range Trooper Range Trooper Lando a Darth Vader Han Solo Han Solo Han Solo Han Solo Solo Lando DJ Lando and let's be oh here are two Kiras actually so there's two Kiras there what don't get too excited wow this is it we got one, two, three Nakias and a Loki. Fantastic selection, Walmart. Thank you. And then down here, we have a Tobias Beckett. This is actually $4 on clearance at my local Walmart, so I'm not picking that up here. Uh, anything back there, that is a no. So guys, I think here's some wrestling stuff. Uh, Kevin Owens, a Ty Dillinger, Perfect 10, another Kevin Owens, and a John Cena. That seems to be about it, guys. Uh, this is a quick Walmart trip, so let's go to Bargain Hunt. All right, guys, so I guess the last thing you saw was Walmart. We are going to, we are in Kingsport, Tennessee right now. We're gonna hit this Walgreens up right here. There's a Books A Million. We are at Walgreens right now in Kingsport, Tennessee. There is a Books A Million, Target, and a GameStop in a little uh, shopping mall. Uh, so we're gonna see what we can find. I already got some cool things today, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited to put this video out there. So guys, I will see you all inside of Walgreens. Nothing new for Legends, really. I'll look around a little bit. Some Power Ranger figs. There's an Electro. Uh, and then for Star Wars, we just got the usual peg warmers. So, uh, And as for Funko Pops, we do have the Million Dollar Man and IRS, Victorian Guard, and the Spider Girl Pop. So 
Thought these guys on clearance for 649. But uh, other than that, guys, I think that's about it. We do have some Kingdom Hearts for five bucks there. Um, but yeah, let's go to the next door. So we are here at Target. Um, holy crap. That, that's like all Chewy except for the back ones. General Leia, Maz Kanata. Yeah, Target Chewy right there in abundance here in Kingsport. I don't know what's here. Probably something good, but for you Transformers guys. One little swoop. There we go. We have Back in Black Deadpool. Over here we have another Paladin. Domino. <coughs> Songbird. I actually found Songbird for five bucks at a bargain hunt just now, but I passed it because I'm being picky on what I collect with Legends right now. Cobra. Let's see. Just found an Ant Man pop, but I'm trying to find more. There's some stuff there, but as for pops, I'm not really seeing anything to be honest with you. Just uh, this guy again, Dryden Gangster. Um, hmm. I just want the little guys. You just want the little guys in those? That's it? Mm -hmm. Anybody selling the little guys out of these pops, let me know. Which I doubt, because nobody wants just the little guys, except for you. All right, guys, so another Walgreens. The last one did not have anything, but I'm, I'm, I'm really wanting to find Magneto. So let's go inside and get a Magneto. Never mind. No Magneto. All right, guys, another Walgreens, third in the row. Something from Thanos. It's an Iron Man, like usual. Let's see. Oh, there's a Kitty Pride. I was actually gonna trade Nick Pryor for that, but uh, I just don't feel like I need it. I'm trying to kind of like cut down on my legends of which ones I actually buy and stuff like that, so I don't feel like I need this. Put that in the front so somebody else can see it though. Hob Goblin Wave, another one of those, and then for Dragon Stars, another Blue Vegito. So it's the second time we saw him today. I'm gonna pick him up eventually. And then for Pops, we have some random. <coughs> Bombshells, that's weird. Sabine, Mo, Medical Droid, Spider Girl, Medical Droid, and that seems to be about it, guys. So, we are here at Books A Million. Let's go ahead and go inside, find us something good. is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got in the matter of a few days because uh, this is a few days after the toy hunt that you saw we did the hunt on Sunday and it is now currently Tuesday so I'm gonna show you guys what I got on the hunt and what I got today so when we popped into a Walmart we managed to find two figures that I was I've been looking for for a while one I've saw quite a bit um, and I just never pulled the trigger because it was that GameStop and the other one was a Star Wars figure that just came out that I've actually saw a few times now Alright guys, so never mind the mess behind me. We actually just got done live streaming tonight. Uh, the, the the video is still on the channel. Go check it out. We had Josh Pence in there. We had Iron Patriot, Jetta Patrol. We had Nate Simmons and Big Dub. Uh, and we're hoping to get a lot more people on there. Hopefully take some turns at uh, live streaming and stuff like that. So if you guys enjoyed that video, if you guys watched the live stream, let me know in the comments below. 
So I actually got last year. Uh, this is I got. I got this from Walmart. Uh, I'm gonna unbox this on Foxy Friday this week. If you guys want to tune into that, that'll be 8 p.m. on Friday night. Uh, we're gonna be unboxing this and some other stuff on there. So I'll see you guys then. But yeah, this is uh, last year. One cool symbiote, symbiote, depending on who you talk to. Um, so yeah, one cool figure. I'm really gonna. I'm going to complete the Lizard Wave eventually. I do want to get the rest of the Sinister Six, or at least try to get some of the Sinister Six. Uh, so yeah, really cool figure to add to the Spider-Man shelf. All right, and the second figure that I picked up at that Walmart was uh, Kira from Star Wars. The solo story, uh, really cool character. I really like the fact that you know um, Daenerys Targaryen, aka Amelia Clark, was playing her. She did a really good job, I feel like. Um, so I picked her up uh, for the retail. So I didn't want to wait on her, even though I saw her like four times that day. But I'm glad I have her. She's gonna look really good next to Han Solo and Lando, uh, and that'll kind of finish out my main characters of the solo movie. So really glad to pick that up. Alright guys, and these next three pickups really hit home for me. Whenever I was a kid, I played Metal Gear Solid day in, day out. It was my favorite video game. Had to play it every single day. I uh, got to the point where I could beat the entire game within three and a half hours. And I... It, it's... it's <sighs> for me, it's one of those games that every time I see something about it, it brings me back to my childhood. Ricky Dones actually sent me every single figure from the Metal Gear Solid 2 wave. Uh, and I'm starting on the Metal Gear Solid 1 wave now. Alright guys, so this is Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid 1. Now the face isn't the best, but the rest of the figure has some really, really good detail to it. It is missing the guns. Um, however, I do have extra guns from Metal Gear Solid 2 Solid Snake. So I'm just going to switch those out with him and, uh put those on him because it's pretty much the same guns in the same game just for just a few little different things so that is Solid Snake and then I also picked up this bad boy right here Vulcan Raven from Metal Gear Solid 1 uh, this guy is huge um, comparison between the two this is a six comparison between the two this is a six inch figure and it's a normal size of a Marvel Legend and there they are compared next to each other so you can actually tell how big Vulcan Raven actually is. And he just might be the best detailed one out of the three. And yes, I did say three because I got one of my favorite characters and... Alright guys, I actually had to do manual focus just to get this guy in focus for some reason. But this is Gray Fox from Metal Gear Solid 1. One of my favorite characters comes with the arm right here. Uh, it turns into a blaster cannon right before this arm, spoiler alert, gets cut off. Um, these don't have the best articulation because they are from 1999, but it's something from my childhood that I'm super glad to have. And now that I have them, I would love to build the rest of them. So if y'all have them, let me know. I know it's a very... Um, I know it's very far-fetched because these are, these are really old figures and not a lot of people actually collect Metal Gear Solid, which is weird. They're, it's a really, really cool video game, but uh, yeah, let me know if you have these. Alright guys, and the last figure I actually got today, shout out to Ready for Work. His link will be in the description below. He's one of my best friends and he's uh, local to me. We work together and everything. He does his own toy hunting channel and stuff like that. Shout out to him. Go subscribe to him. Tell him that Foxy For Real sent you. Uh, he actually hooked it up with this today. Uh, he not he didn't buy it. He uh, had gave me a five dollar off coupon plus ten percent off any collectible, bringing this bad boy down to about seventeen dollars after on the high side of sixteen. Um, so around seventeen rounded up, and I got finally got Doc Ock. So uh, I really want to do the tentacle sw tentacle switch, but honestly I probably won't. It, it don't matter to me if he's standing on it. To be honest with you, he just looks really cool, and he's, he's going to look really good on the Spider-Man show. Alright guys, with that being said, I am going to work on lighting in this room to make sure whenever I do my videos right here, you can actually see some things, because I know it's pretty bad. We are missing a light bulb, we get just blue, we have to get a new one, so hopefully by the time I do that, it'll be better. So guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this toy hunt. Uh, let me know what you liked about it in the comments below, and uh, let's answer a question. So... What is something from your childhood that if you found, you would go absolutely crazy about? This was it for me. I got bought all three of these figures for 30 bucks, and uh, shout out to Nerd HQ in Kingsport, Tennessee. They gave me a great deal. So guys, let me know in the comments below what is something you'd go crazy for if you found it uh, from your childhood, if you found it in the wild. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Hope you find everything you're looking for. And as always, stay foxy. Let's go.
back. Yo. Yo. Once again, I'm back around. Rush it back in style.